Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you guys can see by the title today, we're gonna be testing out Jones Road Beauty. I do have a couple products that I wanna put on my face today and let you guys know if it's worth the money or not because it's definitely not super affordable. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so I don't have like a full face, um, but I do have one, two, three, four, five different products, but they do accumulate to $150. So like I said, not the most expensive, but also not the cheapest. Um, for full transparency, as always, they did send me these products, but I'm not getting paid for anything. I will let you guys know if it's worth the money. I do appreciate it that they sent me these products, but whether I like them or not is a whole different story. So let me show you guys what I have real quick and then we can see what order to apply them. So first we have the Jones Road Miracle Balm and I picked out the shade Flushed. We do have one powder, which is actually the bronzer. It's called The Bronzer and I got the shade Golden Tan. Then we have the mascara and of course it's mascara and I have it in the shade Pitch Black. This is called the Face Pencil, and I have it in the shade 7. We have the Lip Tint, and I have the shade Pink Rose. Alrighty, so obviously this brand is like very natural, glowy type of makeup, so we'll try to kind of do that vibe of makeup. I did want to say I was able to pick these shades out for myself, but some of them are not the same as like the websites, but we'll get to that. So why don't we start out with the Face Pencil. So this is actually going to be $25, and it only comes with... 10 ounces or 2.9 grams of product. I will say a lot, a lot of different shades. Um, like I said, I ended up getting the shade seven. So you're supposed to use it to cover redness, dark spots, correct discoloration, light and dark circles while remaining virtually undetectable. It's formulated with a clear base for no chalky undertones. Start around the nose, cover redness, then around the mouth, spot correct as needed, and blend down with your fingers. So I guess we'll just use this to even out the skin tone as much as we can, and maybe we can just skip out on foundation let me show you guys real fast just a little swatch of what it looks like i did get a tan i did i did get some sun since i ordered this so hopefully it works out so why don't we start out with maybe just covering a little bit of redness around the nose and it is going on very smooth no tugging or anything like that okay that blended out nicely i do want to add a little bit here to cover up some redness. Let's try to use it to cover up under eye circles. Um, I don't have any setting powder. I don't even know if they have any, but I don't think you even need to set this, so. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. It's definitely like a light to medium coverage. Obviously, like my under eye circle is not gonna be full coverage, but I do think it's actually like brightening up my under eyes, and I do think it's covering a really good like natural amount yeah I don't know I didn't really expect to like it so much I do feel like at first it looked kind of like a, a small amount of product but I will say I did kind of correct my whole face obviously it's not all over my face but I corrected all over my face and it's still like pretty pointy and sharp so I do think a little bit goes a long way which is also nice because it actually is undetectable on my face like it said I when you're like near me you don't really see makeup on my face so if you're the type of person that just needs to conceal or correct but you just want it to look like you have no makeup on this is kind of cool actually the next product i'm not gonna lie i'm not the most excited about just because if you watch my channel you know that i don't love like super dewy overly dewy almost greasy type of products but i did want to try out one of the products that everybody seems to love and it's actually their miracle balm i guess let's just do this on the cheeks and then we'll do the powder bronzer maybe like around the forehead so this is called the miracle balm it is 38 dollars and you do get 50 grams of product so that is a pretty good amount of product they do have quite a few shades as well going from very light to very dark so we love that a wash of soft focus moisture to perfect and enhance the skin light reflecting super product that's versatile you can wear alone or on top of foundation for an instant refresh um, so it says to break down the top of the surface balm with your fingers first, warm it up to soften the formula, and apply with your fingertips or a brush or a sponge to cheeks, lips, wherever you want a tint or glow. I really don't want to like mess this up, but I feel like in their like advertisements, they always like grab some rather than just like rub their fingers on it. So I guess we should 
grab some. And so again, uh, this is the shade Flushed, and it looks really pretty. It smells like a spa, and it's just very, very dewy. So I guess I'll just apply it with my hands and maybe blend out the rest with a brush. Um, so not the most pigment. I definitely think this is something that's just going to give you like a literal flush of color, which I do like. I just don't love extra dewy things, but let's give it a shot. I will say the smell is very strong, but it smells like essential oils. But if you don't like scents, if you don't like any fragrance, you might not like it. I do like it though because it smells, um, I don't know, it smells like I'm at a spa. That is some of it on the face. I do think it looks pretty and it's definitely giving the smallest amount of like rosiness and of course it's giving like that super dewy look. I just wish it had more pigment. So if you do like something like this but you just want a little bit more pigment, then maybe try out the darker shades and hopefully you get more pigment out of that. Um, but yeah, you know, it looks pretty. It's just definitely not something that I would like go for all the time, especially not for $38. But if you do like it, I use the smallest amount and you do get a lot of product. So if it's something that you really like, um, I do think like the price is fairly good for the amount of product that you get. But it's just, I don't know, it's just not my vibe. You guys know I love more blush. It looks pretty just not my favorite. Moving on to the bronzer. So this is the only powder product that we have. They do have a powder blush. I wish I would have tried that one. So this actually has five stars all across. Um, almost a thousand reviews. So I guess people really like it. It is $35 and you do get 5.7 grams of product. Um, they do have seven different shades and I picked the shade golden tan. In person, this looks uh, a lot lighter and a lot more like taupey, like a lot more cool tone. It definitely doesn't look golden at all. And I did notice that a lot of the shades are like very pinky, taupey undertones, which could be a good thing because I feel like there's not that many of these types of shades on the market for uh, specific like skin undertones. I just think that even though they have two darker shades, I just don't know how dark they would be because this is the third darkest shade and it's just not very dark. So keep that in mind. It is described as a silky powder that adds instant warmth to the skin. Sheer buildable can be used to give a natural tint or for color correction. Okay, so first impressions just picking up the brush it has a lot of fallout. It's definitely one of those like softer formulas. It's not like super hard pressed, um, but let's try it out. Obviously I don't have foundation on, but um, you know, I'm trying to do the natural vibe. So we will see how it looks on bare skin, which I feel like they do a lot of stuff on bare skin anyways. Um, but right now it's definitely exactly what they said. It's definitely sheer buildable but it actually is looking pretty on the forehead, as you guys can see. I'm a little scared, but let's just try to put it on the cheeks right now and see if anything goes wrong. Honestly, not bad considering the dewiness that we have under that. Definitely is translating a little bit more golden on the skin than on the pan, so I do like that, but I still think that the picture of the shade on the website doesn't really look a lot like it in real life. Um, but right now, this formula is really, really pretty. I definitely see how it has those five stars because it is building up. You guys know I love a lot of bronzer and it is building up really nicely, but it's looking very, very natural. And sometimes I go overboard with bronzer. I probably am doing that right now, um, but I feel like it's very, very forgiving. Something to note, even though I did put this bronzer over the Miracle Balm, there's still a hint of flushness of pinky flushness going through on my cheeks. So I do appreciate that. Obviously I normally put on more blush, but we're gonna keep it in the very minimal category. I actually am really liking this bronzer. I do like the formula. It looks very, very natural and seamless and it really doesn't look like it's like on top of my skin. It definitely looks like it's like melting onto the skin and as a powder, that's obviously always great. So I actually am liking this bronzer a lot more than I thought I would. I just wish they had different undertones. It seems like most of the undertones are cool. This looks really pretty, very natural. Again, if you're looking for like a very natural, undetectable type of makeup, 
I think that this bronzer could definitely want to be one of those products. I will like kind of rank them at the end of this video, but we do have two more products to try. So why don't we add a little mascara with the mascara. The mascara is going to be $26 and they only have one shade, which is pitch black. Um, it is an inky, ultra-pigmented black mascara that is clean, cruelty-free, and conditioning. It's supposed to separate, lift, and volumize lashes. Uh, use a little to keep it natural or layer to go bold. I'm going to quickly curl my lashes with my favorite, the Kevin Naquan Eyelash Curler, and we can test it out. You guys know I have fairly good lashes, so of course I will let you guys know if it's actually doing what it needs to do. It's a pretty big wand, so I don't know how I feel about that, but... We don't want to judge it, so I'm going to start out with one coat, and we will do two coats total. Right off the bat, it seems like it's like a more of a wet formula, and it's holding on to my lashes pretty well. The brush itself is not grabbing my lashes very well, but the formula is really like getting on there, so I do appreciate that. It's definitely giving me a lot of length and separation. Not much volume first, but usually I feel like I can get volume on like the second coat of any mascara. This brush though, the wand is definitely a little big. Ah, ah, it's a little big for the lower lash line. All right, so we do have one coat on each eye and I definitely think that it gave a lot of length and separation while also keeping it fairly natural. Um, so I'm excited to see if we can get some more volume. So let's do the second coat on this eye and I'm really gonna try to build it because it really is giving a lot but just I just need some more volume so that they don't look as like spidery it looks pretty it's just definitely giving you know a little spidey a little spidey sense like it gave a little volume but definitely not as much as I would like to but like I mentioned, it definitely gave me length separation and it still looks very natural. So that is two coats to one. I'm gonna do the other side and I'll come back. So that is two coats and I do like the mascara. Is it my new favorite? No. Is it gonna be my new go-to? No. Um, just because it is giving spidey vibes, but if you already have a good set of like thicker lashes and you just want something that's really gonna define them, lengthen them, and uh, obviously make them black, um, I do think you would like it. Like, it's not a bad mascara. It really isn't. Obviously, because of the price tag, I just, this wouldn't be my go-to because it's not doing everything that I want. But if you don't care that much about volume and you just want length of finition separation, I do think it looks really pretty. Even though I do have a lot of mascara on, I still is giving me like a natural vibe. So um, that's a consensus. And for the last product, we do have the lip tint. So they do have, again, a couple different shades, um, a lot of different ones to choose from. I got the shade Pink Rose. This is $26 and you do get 1.8 grams. It's a moisturizing stick of color that's supposed to glide on and um, it says that you can do it just a touch of color or build a border for more dramatic lip. So yeah, it's just saying that uh, you can build to the desired amount of color. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like on just my bare lips and then maybe we can pair it with a lip liner so this is what it looks like it's actually super super beautiful so let's try it out oh okay one swipe so that is it as like a little lip balm let me add just a little bit more to intensify it it's definitely not like super thick it feels a lot of a thinner formula than I was expecting it actually looks really pretty I kind of want to blot it to see if like it kind of if we could just make it look like a lip stain, kind of. That's pretty. I really like the shade. I feel like I picked the perfect shade, actually. So that is what that looks like. I really like it. I mean, it is a tinted lip balm. Um, and again, it's $26. Um, but it has almost five-star reviews, and people seem to really like it. So um, I do like it. I just feel like $26 is kind of a lot. But... The product itself, I do think it's versatile because I just sheared it out and now it just kind of looks like a wash of color. But did you guys see when I applied more, it definitely looked more like a shiny lipstick. Okay, so I applied NYX Light Brown and I kind of want to actually maybe just blot it. Because obviously we have like a very natural makeup look and I just feel like 
a lot of this might kind of not go with the vibe. I think it's really pretty. I do actually really like it. Is it like, you know, groundbreaking? No, but I think that if you're interested in this and you want to buy it, I think you'll like it. That's all the products that I have. I wanted to do a really quick like touch up just to kind of test out the pencil a little bit more. Now that we have like the rest of our makeup done, I kind of want to like pretend like I need more and see how it touches up. But right now, my skin looks fairly even and it doesn't look like super shiny or makeup-y because of this little stick. So I do just want to see if it builds nicely. Okay, it's definitely building and it's not disrupting anything that I had before actually. This is probably one of the first products that I actually like under my eyes without setting it with powder. Let me get my thoughts together and I'll be right back and we can rank these products. So I think my favorite product out of all of them is actually the face pencil. This really surprised me. Um, I think that this is like a very nice component for easy application. I think it's a really nice formula for easy application and wear. You don't even need to set it. It looks undetectable. It looks very natural and they have a lot, a lot of shades to choose from. And I do think a little bit goes a long way and it's just like a pencil. It's really easy. My second favorite product is actually the bronzer. Like I said, not my favorite shade, but I think the formula is really nice. So if you do find a shade that works for you and you want something a little natural, a little sheer, but buildable, very skin like, um, I think it looks great. Then we have the mascara. I think it's a nice mascara. It did definitely lengthen my lashes. I, I hate to be redundant, but it lengthened, it separated. It really, really did define my lashes. If you're looking for all that and yet it still looks a little bit more natural, I do think you're gonna like it. Um, it's a great mascara. I just need more volume for me personally. Then we have the lip tint. I like it. I think it's pretty. I love the shade. I love the versatility. It is going to be a $26 lip tint. If you're okay with that, I do think you're going to like it. And I think they have a lot of really pretty shades. The least of my favorites is definitely the Miracle Balm. And this is just for personal preference. Um, if I'm going to be putting something on my cheeks, I just need more pigment. I understand that this is not supposed to just be like a cream blush. It's supposed to be like a multitasker. You can definitely use these in a lot of different Different ways you can get the shimmery one and just use it as like a dewy highlight I did see a review where someone said that they like to use this over their concealer to add a little bit glow so if you're just looking for it as a blush just know that it's not gonna give much pigment but it will give your skin like a nice dew and the smallest amount of flush this product and this shade for me is just my least favorite but I do think you do get a lot of product and bang for your buck I'm actually surprised it's not I did not have like bad expectations for Jones Road Beauty I just felt like maybe it just wouldn't be my cup of tea but I have to say um, I like it. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, this will definitely stay in my bag with me. And overall, I think it was a pretty good, positive video. So I'm really happy about that. I hope that this video was helpful and maybe helped you guys pick and choose what you want to try from the line. I will, of course, link all the products down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.